As we begin our 2022 inductions, I think it's very appropriate that we open up with one of the most famous names and greatest players in NFL history, a pro football Hall of Famer. This is Jack Youngblood. Jack Youngblood was born on January 26, 1950, in Jacksonville, Florida. He attended Monticello Jefferson County High School in Monticello, Florida, graduating class of 1967. As an offensive lineman and linebacker, he was a starter on offense and defense and team captain of the state champion Tigers, earning All-State honors in 1966 after recording 70 tackles. He then went on to the University of Florida. On October 4th, 1969, he gained national attention for a five-sack performance 21-6 versus in-state rival Florida State University. In 1970, he was recognized as a first-team All-American while recording 58 tackles and leading the team with 10 sacks to finish his Gator career with 29 quarterback sacks. He was voted the 1970 SEC Lineman of the Year. After his college career, Youngblood was drafted by the Los Angeles Rams in the first round of the 1971 NFL Draft. In 1973, he was a second-team All-Pro selection and went to the first of seven Pro Bowls and led the Rams with 16 and a half sacks. He was voted Rams Defensive Lineman of the Year by the Rams Alumni Association. By 1978, the Rams led the NFL in total defense, and Youngblood was named to his sixth consecutive Pro Bowl and was a consensus first-team All-Pro for the fourth time in five years. In the 1979 season, Youngblood had a career-high 18 sacks and was a consensus first-team All-Pro for the fifth time. He was voted to his seventh consecutive Pro Bowl. Despite injuries, he played in 201 consecutive games, a Rams team record, and only missed one game his entire 14-year NFL career. During his tenure, the Rams played in five NFC Championship games, and they advanced to Super Bowl XIV following the 1979 season. As the Rams' defensive captain, he was a three-time winner of the Dan Reeves Award, given to that team's most valuable player each season. One of his most outstanding single-game performances was against the St. Louis Cardinals in a 1975 playoff game. Young Blood recorded one sack, one forced fumble, one blocked extra point attempt, and returned an interception 47 yards for a touchdown. After retiring as a player in 1985, Young Blood worked as a radio analyst for the Rams, the Sacramento Surge of the WLAF, and CFL Sacramento Gold Miners. In 1992, Young Blood was elected into the College Football Hall of Fame and the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2001. In April 2007, he won the Order of the Leather Helmet, the highest recognition for an NFL alumni, awarded by the National Football League. Following his NFL career, he has made forays into broadcasting, acting, and business, as well as writing an autobiography. Jack and his wife Barbara currently live in Winter Park, Florida. Jack and Barbara are loving grandparents to three-year-old Paige, daughter of their son Rob and his wife Melissa. Jack's favorite scripture is Jeremiah 29:11. The Lord definitely had a plan for me. Hallelujah. The Gridiron Greats is honored to induct Jack Youngblood into their Hall of Fame. I've been in some, a lot of events in the course of my, my life and my profession, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you a, a quick story here about why we are here. <clears throat> Coach, Coach believes in exactly what he's doing here. He's got the biggest heart that I've ever known in the National Football League. And he's the, and he's the, the strongest coach that this league has had over the course of 
millenniums. And I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you a story about this and I'll make it quick. <clears throat> he was still playing, he was still playing for Dallas in 1971. I was a rookie, I was a rookie and, and uh, I had taken Deacon's place because Deacon got hurt and I had to go play for him. And you were playing and we're, <laughs> and I will never forget this. You are not only a coach, but you're a teacher. And, <laughs> and it, it lasted with me for a long time. We're playing in the, in the game. I can't remember exactly what, what, what time it was on the, on, on the board. But they've got the ball, coaches the tight end, and he, he lines up, and I used to, and I'm a rookie now, I'm a rookie, and I've, and I've got a big, I, I, have to, I have to take care of Merlin Olson at the same time. I'm his wingman, and if I, if I screw up, he'll beat me up. <laughs> so so I've, got, I've got big shoes to wear here. <laughs> I line up, I line up, and, and Mike comes out, lines up, and I was taught, Beacon said, you get as close as you can to the line, to, to tight end so that he can't get a, a, an advantage on you and block you. Come right, come, come run or, or pass. So I was trying to do that, and I eased out half a step, and Mike, eased out a half a step. And I went, oh crap. <laughs> so I eased out another half a step. And so now we've, we've got, we've got three, three yards between, between Mike and his tackle and me and my tackle. <laughs> and they snapped the ball might knock me into Tuesday. <laughs> I, I'm honest. He hit me so hard, and, and I thought to myself, I'm not doing that crap again. <laughs> I guarantee you. I, <laughs> that's the teaching part that developed in me, brother, and I appreciate it. I love you. You're the best. Thank you, man.